another component of the internal control system is the information system and then communication. So the information system that is relevant to the preparation of financial statements consists of activities and then policies and accounting and supporting records designed and established to do the following. So first is the information system has the activities and policies that are designed first to initiate, record, and process the entity's transactions, as well as capture, process, and disclose information about events and conditions other than transactions, and also maintain accountability for their related assets, liability, and then equity. So the information system must be able to capture, record, and then process the entity's transactions. And we say the information system can be either manual or automated, one of the two. Then secondly, activities or policies that resolve incorrect processing of transactions. There must be ways of correcting things. Yeah. That resolve resolve, sorry, resolve incorrect processing of transactions, for example. Automated suspense files and procedures followed to clear suspense items out on a timely basis. Like in case something goes wrong, there is a way of correcting that thing on a timely basis, like before it's too late. Then it must be able to incorporate information from transactions processing in the general ledger for example transferring of accumulated transactions from the subsidiary ledgers to the general ledger then it can it must be able to capture and then process information that is relevant to the preparation of financial statements for events and then conditions other than transactions for example depreciation and then amortization of assets and changes in the recoverability of assets so it must be able to capture and then process that information it must be able to calculate for depreciation amortization and all that then lastly ensure that information required to be disclosed by the applicable financial reporting framework is accumulated recorded processed summarized and appropriately reported in the financial statement. So they must ensure a proper disclosure of information. So an entity's business processes include activities that are designed to do the following. First, develop, purchase, produce, sell, distribute, an entity's products and services. Then, um, Activities that are designed to ensure compliance with laws and regulations. And lastly, activities that are designed to record information, including accounting and financial reporting information. So that is um, an entity's business process. It must have those three activities that are designed to develop, purchase, produce, sell, distribute. Then ensure compliance with laws, then record information. That is just like a note. So in this video, we are looking at information system and then communication. So we are done looking at information system. So let's look at communication. So communication entails providing understanding of the individual roles and responsibility of the entities internal control system like you make sure that everyone in the organization understands what they are supposed to do they understand their roles and responsibilities this can include policy manuals accounting and financial reporting manuals and then memoranda like you issue out such such documents to make sure that everyone understands what they are responsible for so communication can be made electronically orally or through actions of management you can decide to talk you can decide maybe to send an email to send a letter or you lead by example